the end of the day, this is what we would call an emergency. An emergency neighbors in one Big Bend community are trying to stop from getting worse as high water swamps their streets. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Channing Frampton and I'm Ava Van Valen. Now at 11 ABC 27's Cara Bailey shows us just how deep these floodwaters are and what property owners plan to do about it. What may look like a river at first glance. I came waiting out of here is the reality Kirk Jones has to deal with on the road to his rental property. See, the problem is, is that the roads were not engineered here originally, and there's a couple areas I can show you that essentially they've built dams that block the natural flow of water to this marsh system. So this area should drain beautifully. Jones has been trying for years to get flood water relief from the county without much success. Even at one point, collecting more than 600 signatures from neighbors facing similar struggles. He says while he'd rather avoid legal action, it's not out of the question. Well, you know, we hate to do that, you know, and obviously if they know there's a problem and it's not being addressed, then there can be legal consequences because People are suffering damages unnecessarily. We did speak briefly with county leaders about his concerns, but heard this when trying to have them go on record. You have reached the office of LaWanda Pemberton. I am unable to answer your call. Visitors to the rental property now on board with Jones's mission after an unexpected start to their trip. The vision was to come into this beautiful setting and drive up to this lake house that we've rented, and we discovered a flooded road. Now hoping he gets the resolution he's looking for so they can be met with dry streets when they return. In Steenhatchie, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. And for a look at the proposed engineering fixes that Jones and his brother submitted, just visit our website, WTXL.TV.